Welcome to Spain for round eight of the European Truck Racing Championship. The penultimate event contested by the European Truck Racing Elite will be staged near Madrid, the metropolis with three million inhabitants. The Spanish capital is enjoying summery weather despite the fact we're well into autumn. The Circuito del Carama is about 30 kilometers from Madrid. The four kilometer track is steeped in tradition and provided the venue for nine Spanish Formula One Grand Prix. The tricky circuit with long straights and tight corners is a big challenge for the ETRC drivers. Overall leader Jochen Hahn from Germany travels to Spain buoyed by his 35-point lead. The 2011, 2012 and 2013 European champion has a comfortable cushion, but Hahn has no intention of resting on his laurels. You must look why I have the 35 points. He have a mistake in, in, in Zolder, not a mistake, it's a technical problem. I win the race and I win 20 points. But anyway, I can lose also one race and he win and then we are nearly on the, on the same level on the, with the points. So from this side, nothing is safe in the moment. We must fight, we must go concentrate and we must look, we can keep the gap. Adam Latsko from the Czech Republic is under pressure. Hahn has a considerable advantage. Latsko has to cut the gap in Spain to maintain his chances of winning the championship title. Yeah, it's a lot of points and it's uh, coming, the, what I say, on the start of the season, who have the first technical problem. Maybe he, he lose the championship, but uh, I try fight to the last corner to the finish in uh, Le Mans in the last race. But I think it's not so easy. Maybe you can have also some problem here or Le Mans. Hahn against Latsko. It has been the defining duel for the most part of the 2016 season. The race is in Harama, the first of which will decide the championship potentially. It's going to be interesting near Madrid. Frankie Wojciech is set to make his comeback at Harama. A little review. Budapest, race two, the last lap. Wojciech in second place is pushed by Norbert Kish and hits the pit wall. Everybody helps reassemble the truck at Most, but Wojciech is unable to participate in his home Grand Prix due to an injury sustained in the crash. He's all the more fired up to be back in action in Spain. And me, really, really, absolutely happy come back. Come back. Uh, thank you very much for my team. Thank you very much for, uh, for Jochen team and uh, René Reiner team to very, very helping for me. But it's uh, also to completely paddock to help me to, for my track. The ETRC starting grid features many Spanish and Portuguese drivers at Harama. Tens of thousands of fans spur on the local heroes. The corners from the Le Mans to the Farina section are like an arena with a festival atmosphere. The drivers thank the fans with drifts and donuts. The fans here are unique. They cheer us on the whole time. We drivers are incredibly glad about it. I've seen many different circuits throughout Europe, but I haven't seen a crowd like this anywhere. The first timed practice at the Super Bowl session. The first crucial moment of the race weekend at Harama. It's very tight at the top. Adam Latsko posts the fastest lap time. Hahn makes a slight mistake and is one-tenth slower, securing P2. <laughs> ah, the lap time, it's possible. I have one mistake in one corner and then you see how, on which level is the, it's the fight. The fight is on a maximum level and when you have a small mistake, you are not on the pole position. The starting grid for race one. Adam Latsko is on pole position, Hahn alongside. I think it's not an uh, easy race in front of us. I think it's very tough and hard race because Jochen is a big uh, fighter and I think he would like a win like me and we must fight uh, until the last lap. Third on the grid, Norbert Kish lining up alongside him, René Reinert. The two are also fighting for third position overall. Stephanie Halm and Sasha Lentz will start the race from P5 and P6. Green lights, the sprint to turn one. Latsko and Hahn alongside each other. Behind them, Reinert passes Kish for third. 
Latsko on the inside passes Hahn and takes the lead. Steffi Halm had a good start. She's fourth behind her teammate, but Norbert Kisch is alongside her. The reigning champion overtakes the German in the Farina section. Halm runs onto the dirt and drops another place as Anthony Janiek passes her. A few turns later, Halm attacks Janiek and passes for P5, but the French Lion truck driver pushes Halm. The Reinert driver hits the gravel with two wheels and Lentz overtakes her. The race order after lap one, laps go in front of Hahn, followed by Reinert, Kish, Janiek, Lentz and Halm. Towards the end of the long straight, Halm tries to overtake Lentz. They touch again. Halm repasses for sixth place. Frankie Wojciech has slowed down and turns into the pit lane. The Czech's MAN has steering problems. Jochen Hahn has cut the gap to Latsko. This duel will be the center of attention for the next few laps. Neither Hahn nor Latsko has any significant advantage. Both are completely equal. Behind them, Reinert is third with a considerable gap to Kish in fourth. The battle for fifth between Janiek, Halm and Lentz is becoming tighter and tighter. The Spanish drivers at Harama aren't major competitors. Their trucks don't match the level at the top of the ETRC. However, they boost the atmosphere at the track with some spectacular action. The positions at the head of the race seem set towards the end, but Janiek, Halm and Lentz are still fighting. Steffi Halm is stuck behind Janiek for several laps and fails to find a way past him. The last lap, Halm touches Janiek while braking and loses momentum. Sasha Lentz makes best use of the situation, passing her for sixth. At the head of the field, Latsko wraps up his triumph in the first race at Harama, cutting the gap to Hahn by five points. On the podium, it's Latsko for the top step, then Hahn. Rene Reinert finishes third, taking crucial points for third in the championship. The race result at a glance. Fantini Janet finishes fourth, fifth, and Sasha Lentz. Behind them, Steffi Halm and Alan Law. The two women, sixth and seventh, and the front row on the grid for race two. The grid for race two, Ellen Law and Steffi Halm share the front row for Saturday's second race at Harama. Law is finally at the head of the field again after a long wait in the 2016 season. First of all, I like the idea of a complete women on wheels first row, okay? Yeah. That's the nice thing about it. It will be tough because the speed is okay, but not, not there to really fight. So if everything goes normal, Steffi should win the race. I should block everybody a little bit as long as possible. Alongside Alan Law, the second female driver on the grid, Steffi Halm starts second. The second row for Sasha Lentz and Anthony Janek. Norbert Kish and Rene Reinert are on the row behind them. The battle for the championship title starts on the fourth row, Hahn against Latsko, and this time Hahn has the better position. At the green lights, Steffi Halm against Alan Law on the long straight at Harama. The former DTM driver is narrowly in front of Halm, but the latter, who is almost 20 years younger, passes the experienced Law comfortably on the outside at turn one, taking the lead. Lots of action towards the back of the field. Jose Rodriguez's wheels are blocking. That causes a chain reaction. Kurzin breaks, Wojciech pushes him, Rodriguez spins off, Wojciech hits him sideways. The dust slowly settles. From Jochen Hahn's cockpit, starting seventh, he passes Reinert into turn one, and then Janek two. 
The overall leader is in third position after less than two kilometers. Up front, Halm is extending her gap. Hahn is stuck behind Law. He could go faster. Before the Bugatti turn, Hahn alongside Law, who gives him space to pass. After lap one, Halm is in front of Hahn, followed by Law and Latsko. Behind them, Janiek and Reinert. On the start finish straight, Latsko approaches Law. The 32 year old Bagheera driver tries to pass on the inside, approaching the Fangio turn. Latsko goes through as Anthony Janek tries to close the gap. He looks to make the same move, but Lohr slams the door shut. At the head of the field, Hahn puts Halm under pressure. His pace is better. The three-time European champion closes the gap to Halm within a few turns. He makes short work of her and passes for the lead. Latsko attacks Halm towards the end of lap five. Halm leaves him space. The check passes comfortably. Apparently, nobody wants to intervene in the battle for the championship title. Lohr, who started from pole and is now fourth, comes under pressure. A heavily damaged MAN front keeps coming uncomfortably close to her rear bumper. René Reinert is lurking to pass for fourth. They battle for laps on end. On the last lap, Reinert stages his attack. They touch. Law runs onto the gravel with two wheels. Reinert passes for fourth, but even he is not happy about the collision. A clear-cut victory for Jochen Hahn in the second race of the day. Adam Latsko without a chance against the German late on Saturday afternoon, and he finishes a distant second. Steffi Halm finishes third. Reinert and Law at the last corner. Reinert slows a little, which is enough for Law to finish fourth. Reinert shows his sportsmanship, waving the advantage he gained in the collision with Law a few laps ago. The podium after race two. Hahn, Latsko and Halm, first, second and third. I play a little bit. I used two choco tires and it, this was impossible. The, the first three laps I can go very fast and make a gap. Ellen Law at Harama has one of her best finishes of the 2016 season. Again, didn't make it to the podium. I could kill myself third time this year, fourth place. But there are some to go. Uh, the fight with René was astonishing, fair, was really tough, really hard, but he was never unfair. And this last lap was, of course, exciting because first he overtook me and then in the last meters I could get the better line. So, yeah, it was, if you're in front at the end, of course, that feels great. The result at a glance, Hahn, Latsko and Halm on the podium. Then Law fourth, only 66 thousandths ahead of Reinert. Behind them, Janiek, Kish and Lentz. We've seen two thrilling races at Harama. The fans have enjoyed lots of action. The family trip to the racetrack was well worth it. The same goes for Eduardo Rodriguez. The Portuguese is an ETRC regular. Almost his entire family accompanied him to Harama. Both his son and his grandson traveled with their racetracks and entered the races. I've been active in motorsport for 22 years. We started with the Rally Portugal, followed by five years of track rallycross before I joined the ETRC because I'm professionally involved with trucks. I've competed for the European Championship for almost 20 years now. First, I introduced my son to motorsport and my grandson drives too. He's been active in rallycross since he was 12. But which of the three generations is the quickest on track? 
It's my very first track race this weekend. If things go well, perhaps I can participate in a few races next year and maybe in the entire championship in two or three years. We'll see tomorrow. Perhaps I'll finish ahead of them. Frankie Wojciech celebrates a milestone on the Saturday evening. The Czech looks back on 30 years of the European Truck Racing Championship. He's been part of the series from the start. This evening, absolutely very, very happy. Truck racing, uh, absolutely big, big family. And 30 years he's driving, is me, two more, is fantastic, fantastic people. This truck racing, this is my, my life. A long Spanish late summer evening with many interesting tales in the paddock concludes the first race day at Horama. Sunday, the racetrack is flooded by the morning sunlight. The fans return to the track. It starts early, timed practice and the Super Bowl. Adam Latsko has strong pace, but Jochen Hahn strikes back. Only 18 thousandths of a second separate them at the end of the session. It's getting tighter and tighter. I'm in the radio with Diana, and Diana tell me, oh, he's one tenth faster in the first sector. Oh, he's two tenth faster in the second sector. And then, okay, and now I must push. And in the last sector, we have a mistake. Maybe he's behind Nobby, and he have a lot of water or something like this. And he tell me in the moment he have wheel spin, and he lose more than three tenth. And then I'm safe, and I cool down. Yeah, I have the pole position. That's the first step. To, to win races. The front row on Sunday. This time Hahn is on the inside with better grip. Latsko on the outside. On the second row, Norbert Kish lines up alongside Rene Reinert. The third row, Steffi Halm alongside Sasha Lentz. The start and the sprint to turn one. Jochen Hahn is the first to enter the Fangio turn, retaining the lead. On board with Norbert Kish, he has dropped positions, now fifth behind Reinert and Halm. Janiek passes Alan Law and goes on to chase Sasha Lentz. The young towing entrepreneur ahead of him makes a mistake and has a lot of trouble keeping his truck on the track. Janiek passes for sixth. The race order, Jochen Hahn in the lead ahead of Adam Latsko. Rene Reinert is third, Steffi Halm fourth, then Kish, Janiek and Lentz. Hahn creates a little gap to his pursuers over the next few kilometres, dominating the race. Latsko in second is also unchallenged. The field spreads out further and further, the positions are set early on. Yeri Foreman touches the penalty markers once too often, incurring a drive-through penalty. Hahn controls the race and maintains the gap to Latsko over the duration. The MAN driver is the first to cross the finish line after 12 laps, wrapping up another crucial triumph in the fight for the championship title. Latsko finishes second, followed by Rene Reinert. Latsko displays muted joy on the podium. The gap in the standings has grown. His championship hopes are getting smaller. He's very, very fast. Uh, I don't know, he have new tyre on the race? Yes. Okay, more clever. <laughs> uh, it's nice. He's very fast. And until half race, I don't have chance. And second half race, I little bit go near and near to him. But it's not enough. The result, Halm finishes fourth ahead of Kish, Anthony Janek is sixth, Sasha Lentz and Ellen Law, seventh and eighth, will share the front row for the last race at Harama. The grid assembles for race four, another pole position for Ellen Law at Harama. Apparently, the Spanish circuit suits the former touring car driver. Like always in racing, it can be top or flop. And it's always the same also when you start on pole position because we still have Lachko and Hahn who are incredibly quick, quicker than everybody else at the moment. And I have some of the tough fighting guys around me. So let's see. Sasha Lent starts from second place on the grid. The next two positions, Janiek and Kish, third and fourth. Steffi Halm and her teammate Rene Reinert will share the third row. 
Adam Latsko is alongside Jochen Hahn on the fourth row. At the start, Lenz accelerates better than Alan Law, taking the lead before turn one. Janjek has had a great start from third. The Lion truck passes Alan Law for second place before the first corner. There's action galore behind them. There's a chain reaction. Rodriguez and Foreman touch. The Portuguese spins before Hemming and Foreman collide as well. The dust at turn one has yet to settle, but the action goes on up front. Janjek is putting Lentz under more and more pressure. The first attack comes before the Bugatti turn. Janjek alongside Lentz, but he defends his position. It continues before the Monza turns. Janjek again alongside Lentz while braking and passes. Reinert uses his chance too. Lentz and Reinert touch and enter the long start finish straight side by side. Reinert passes Lentz under braking for turn one. It's second place for Reinert. Spanish Iveco driver Pedro Marco skids off into the gravel trap at the Le Mans turn, ending up in an awkward position. The race officials stop the race with the red flags. The track is cleared of debris. The second formation lap of the race gets underway. The starting grid is based on the last complete lap before the interruption. Janjek is on pole, Lentz alongside him. Reinert and Lohr are on the row behind. The third row, Latsko and Harm, then Kish and Harm. The race is underway. The big question, will Janjek seal his first ETRC triumph of the season? He retains the lead after turn one, just ahead of Lentz. On board with Adam Latsko. The Czech passes Law. Reiner prevails against Lentz. Latsko uses his chance and overtakes the orange MAN. Hahn also makes up ground. He's just behind Lentz now. But the towing company owner does not surrender his position without putting up a fight. He defends his place for several turns. But eventually, Hahn passes for fourth at the end of the long straight. Janjek, Reinert and Latsko in close succession, but Hahn closes the gap to the trio and catches up. A quartet packed with action. Janjek aims to wrap up his first ETRC triumph this term. Reinert aims to avoid this. Latsko needs as many points as possible, whereas Hahn seems to enjoy his position lurking behind them without taking unnecessary risks. Latsko tries to find a way past Reinert, who fights with all he's got. Leader Janjek profits from the battle, creating a gap. But Janjek can't savour the situation for too long. Reinert is catching up again. At the same time, the race leader is making occasional mistakes. The German sees his chance, but Janjek recovers. The battle between Janjek and Reinert thrills the fans for several laps. Reinert fails to find a way past the Frenchman, but at least stays directly behind him. Latsko and Hahn don't take unnecessary risks at this point. The tracks have to be intact for the season finale at Le Mans in a week's time. But Norbert Kirsch has problems. The Hungarian leaves the track with a steering failure. Wojciech passes for eighth, a bit of compensation after a tricky weekend, his steering and drive shaft seal having had to be replaced. Janjek enters the start finish straight for the last time, wrapping up his first FIA European truck racing victory in 2016. The order of the quartet hasn't changed, so Reinert finishes ahead of Latsko and Hahn. The Spanish fans are cheering as the trucks perform donuts after the race. Harama has a very special fan culture. The podium, Janjek at the top for the first time this season. Reinert and Latsko failed to topple him. Yes, it's my uh, first uh, victory uh, this uh, season. This uh, season, I'm very happy. I'm very happy. Uh, my uh, staff and my team yesterday. Uh, big job, big job for my, my truck. Uh, my gearbox is broken. Uh. 
A look at the result. Janek, Reinert and Latsko ahead of Hahn in fourth, Halm fifth, then Lentz and Lohr. What does this do to the championship? Jochen Hahn has 408 points, 35 clear of Latsko. His lead over his pursuer has not changed. René Reiner took lots of points at Harama, protecting third place. The big finale will be staged at Le Mans in just one week's time. It's going to be a genuinely decisive weekend.